Hi guys, it's Vanessa. Did you miss me? I feel like I've been gone for a while, right? Sorry about that. You know how it gets. I'm a slacker. But I love you guys. I wanted to, uh, before I start, say yay 600 subscribers. So welcome 100 new ones and um, welcome back 500 old ones. So <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, get started. I'm doing a tag that um, Lisa SZ09 tagged me. Hi, I love her. Um, the tag was for your favorite skincare products. So before I start, I just wanted to say that you probably won't see too much stuff. It was hard for me to dig it up. Um, this is one y'all hate me, but I naturally have pretty decent skin. Um, I don't really have acne at all, um, and I rarely break out. So so that said, um, oh, and my skin is also a little sensitive, so I get really nervous about um, buying too much stuff for my face, so I don't really experiment too much. So if you, with that said, let me get started because I talk too much. Okay, the first thing I'm going to mention was in my must-haves video, and it is the CVS Cooling Mist Sunscreen, and it is comparable to the Neutrogena Fresh Cool Body Mist Sunblock. This is one is an SPF 45. I love this stuff. Um, it's intended to, like, uh, instantly cool your skin and provide some protection. I use it on my body all over. You just give it a shake and you spray. And then for your face, you spray it on your hands and then you evenly distribute it. I like it a lot. It's not that greasy at all on my face. It cools me down. Um, it protects from UVA and UVB. Next um, is the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. This one I got um, by recommendation, sort of by um, the World Stressor. She had talked about it in a video. They're super cheap. It's like four bucks, I think, for this thing at like all drug stores, all beauty supply stores, um, and like Ulta. You could get this stuff anywhere, basically. It looks like this. It's just like a thick green mask, um, and it's one of those that you put on and you wait for it to dry and then you rinse it off. This stuff um, is intended for to help dry up acne, pimples, rinse away blackheads, and shrink enlarged pores, and it does all that. And then something that I've recently introduced um, like a couple weeks into my regime is um, this Walgreens Blemish and Blackhead Control Apricot, apricot ugh, here we go, Apricot Scrub for oily acne prone skin types. And this is um, the drugstore version of the St. Ives one, in case you didn't notice, I like my drugstore brands. This stuff is really good. It contains 2% salicylic acid. It helps with oil control. Um, it's supposed to help with acne, obviously, because of the salicylic acid. And, you know, it's an exfoliator, so it'll help um, polish your skin and just kind of get rid of that winter blah dullness, which is why I bought it, and it definitely worked. This is what it looks like. It's clear, and then it has, like, tiny little granules. I don't know if you can see them. This and this, by the way, I forgot to mention, these both on me, like, sting like no other. But my skin is very sensitive, and um, once I wash it off, there's no, like, redness and, like, nothing bad. So, they do hurt, I forewarn. Next is the Clean and Clear Invisible Blemish Treatment. This is just 2% salicylic acid gel. To when I do have breakouts, I'll just put it as a spot treatment, and it works fantastic. Um... And another thing I forgot to mention again about the Queen Helene mask is it's really good to use as a spot treatment at night um, when you go to bed and then when you wake up, your zip will be reduced. You guys are probably so sick of seeing this in my videos, but Fix Plus Spray. Um, currently, this is the only um, moisturizing agent that I use on my face. Like I said, my face is sensitive and my face is oily. So even um, lotion that is intended for oily skin or to help with oily skin doesn't... Um, work on my face. It just adds more to the oil. So after I do one of the masks or after I wash my face, I use this spray it on. That's kind of like the moisturizing agent I use. It's also good as just a general refresh. Um, for my eye area, I use, well I used to use more, but I've been lazy about doing it, is the Neutrogena God, why is that so hard for me to say? Radiance Boost Eye Cream. Um, and this is supposed to brighten your eye area, reduce the dark circles um, the, in color and puffiness. Um, this stuff works really well if you use it religiously. I was for um, a few months using it every day, morning and night, and I saw a dramatic difference. But once you stop or if you don't do it all the time, you're not going to really notice that much of a change. Um, and then this, you're probably like, uh, wrong video and TMI, Vanessa. But this is for under eye circles. Hemorrhoidal ointment, CVS brands, comparable to Preparation H. 
this stuff, um, I'm sure you guys have all heard it. I, it's like one of the first beauty secrets I ever heard of. You take a little bit of it, you put it under when you have really puffy eyes, and it depuffs them. And it does work. My only problem with this is that it's very thick. Ugh, when I think of like the real reason people use this, it grosses me out. But see, it's really thick. It's like um, petroleum based. So I'll put it on like while I'm getting ready, and then before I do my makeup, I'll just kind of wipe with the tissue to get rid of the um, the like excess on it, or else it's just too oily and like greasy to have on your face all day. I did have a friend who put it on overnight on his, um, her pimples, and she said that it got rid of them overnight. Um, I would, I or I think I tried and it didn't work, but I wouldn't continue doing it because it's petroleum based. Um, or at least it feels that way, and for my skin type, that would not help at all. Speaking of oily skin, because that seems to be the only thing I'm talking about, Palladio rice papers. Love these. Mm -hmm. My little babies. Every time I go to Sally's, every time I go to um, Nordstrom Rack, I pick one up, because I have to have them in my purse. I like them. They look like this. You just, um, oh, I took one out, but I guess not. You just take them out, like a um, tissue box dispenser sort of thing, and then just this big old sheet. One side has um, no paper, the other side has like a powder on it. Oh, and they come in different colors. I have it in natural, but I think it comes in translucent, translucent, and then from natural to like dark or medium dark, so that's another good thing about them. Next is all over body skincare. First thing I'm going to talk about are Lush shower jellies. I have two of them. This one is my favorite. This one is called Boosh, um, and it's got like this minty, it's more citrusy, I think, like a citrusy minty scent. This is what it looks like, like jello, um, and it's, you just take a little chunk of it. It comes in a big, solid, like jello block, but I break mine up using floss into like little cubes because really less than this is all you need to do your whole body and it like lathers up like no other it's crazy I bought this um like in June or July half a pound and I use it every day so that's just to show you how long it lasts and I just bought this one recently this one is um the champagne snow and it's um oranges and cognac and it smells like a mimosa which is why I bought it oh yes it smells like a mimosa and I want one now <gasps> oh Lanza there you go, slippery suckers. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's just like a white gel, and it's all over me now. Um, but like I said, I just kind of crush, the, crush it up with the uh, floss, and a little bit goes a long way, but I like them a lot. All natural company. Smells divine. Get that off. Okay. And also from Lush um, is this massage bar. I forgot the name of this one, but this one smells kind of like lavender um, and basically it used to have like a knot but I guess I melted it down this is just like it looks like soap but it's um, really a lotion bar when you start like using it in your hands or on your body um, like oil starts coming off of it and it's really good for massages um, or just for lotion I use it as an all over body lotion before I go to bed and the lavender scent will put me straight to bed and I love it Next is Honey I Wash the Kids Soap. Now, this normally comes, like, the little soap you get is really cute, and it looks like a honeycomb. But I got this in a gift set, so they they suck, and then they just made this ugly, dookie-looking bar. But it smells like honey, and it's just, an, again, another really good soap that I like from Lush. Now, this is also from Lush. I just didn't want to cough up another tin price for it and I'm not going to take it out because I don't know if you can tell from here it's just like in crumbles and it looks really gross but this is Buffy um, and I think it used to be called Buffy the Body Slayer and this is an all over body exfoliator you use it in the shower it's like a super grainy soap and then you just rub your body with it like you do with your soap and then um, when you're rinsing it off you notice that there's like a your body's like covered in like um, body lotion that's like built into it and it leaves your skin so soft and so smooth the only thing I forewarn with this is that it'll leave your bathtub like ridiculously ice skate roller ring um, slippery I almost killed my parents like three times using this so I advise to be careful but it works and it's good that's all guys do you like my hat um, yeah pom -pom. more videos to come because I feel like a slacker and that's all love you guys bye